Let's go back in time to another draft, 1981. The Oilers' first choice, wide receiver Mike Holston from Morgan State selected in the third round. Houston did not have a first or second round pick that year because it sent those picks to Oakland the year before in the trade for the tight end Dave Casper. The guys with the longest careers from this draft picked in the eighth and ninth rounds, Willie Tullis and Avon Riley. Now the 1981 draft produced seven Hall of Famers, including one from the Houston area. That linebackers draft day was like a roller coaster as Matt Musil saw with his own eyes in this vintage video. A few hundred people gathered at Euler headquarters today to watch the 1981 NFL draft develop, and among the more interested parties on hand were members of Mike Singletary's family. The reason you don't see the All-American out of Baylor in these shots is because he had already left the room when he wasn't selected in the first round. The Worthing High School product had been told he probably would be picked in the opening round, and while he paced outside, his mother kept watch on the proceedings. By this time, it was after one in the afternoon. I think Michael is a little impatient right now, but I think he's going to be all right. He has courage, and I kind of think maybe that he'll be picked on the second in the second draft. Then, only a few minutes later, the waiting was over. Singletary was picked by the Chicago Bears, the eighth player taken in the second round. You were downstairs, uh, obviously a little anxious that you weren't picked in the first round. Uh, tell us your feelings, uh, what was going through your mind? Um, a lot of things at a very short time. Uh, it really wasn't a, a bad feeling. Kind of make you realize a lot of things. And uh, I felt, felt a little funny, but um, I, I feel real good about it. It gives me something to work for. Did it matter to you at all, really, going in, uh, who you'd be playing for? No, it didn't really matter. Um, the team is a team, and you go to play and you go to perform, so um, I hope things work out. So now Mike Singletary can breathe a sigh of relief because he'll get his chance to prove himself with an NFL team. Next up for Singletary, hire an agent to help him hammer out a good contract with the Bears. Matt Musil, News Center 11 Sports. Man, I love that vintage video. And here's how they drafted and how they should have drafted based on a formula from ProFootballReference.com. George Rogers was chosen first overall, but the best career, Lawrence Taylor, without a doubt. Mike Singletary should have been selected second. The Giants, Seahawks, 49ers, all selecting Hall of Famers, though, in those first 10 picks. Matt's back, and man, Matt, there is a lot to chew on from that video. Was it common for draft prospects like a Mike Singletary to go to their hometown team's draft party then? Yeah, it really was. Of course, Mike went because he was expecting to be a first-round draft pick. Uh, you know, it goes back to why Mike didn't get picked. Let's, if you go back in time, let's go in the Wayback Machine. In 1980, Baylor was an upstart team. They go to the Cotton Bowl, lose to Alabama, and it was a close game. And after the game, Bear Bryant, I said, did you in your wildest dreams believe you could hold Baylor's offense to whatever, I don't know, six points or whatever it was? And he goes, I don't have any wild dreams. <laughs> that was at the Cotton Bowl. Mike Singletary was a stud all the way through, had a great senior season. And Mike, if you saw in the interview, he wasn't a really tall guy. And everybody who watched him in the NFL knows he's not very tall, but man, you cannot measure that man's heart. And he worked so hard, he was so smart. And Michael Holston, the pick there, you know, it was Eddie Biles, or the late Eddie Biles, our buddy, was in that video. Yeah, he was he was congratulating Mike Singletary in that video. <laughs> well, Eddie loved defensive players, but he was convinced to go offense there. Uh, there were so many things wrong with that draft. Avon Riley, uh, you mentioned his name. He, he was a heck of a linebacker. And Willie Tullis played a number of years here for the Oilers as a good cornerback. But uh, when I first saw that video, all I thought was, we must have been on deadline. We barely made it. We had to drive back to the station, I guess, because, wow, that was video poor, wasn't it, <laughs> on that story? <laughs> but listen, though, that was the sign of the times, right? I mean, that was 1981. We love seeing that vintage video. Thanks, oh, man. man. Okay.